Another feature on the GFX, um, like if you don't have the TUVR or isobus control on your spreader or sprayer, what you can do, you can create an implement with a virtual section control. So if you go into implement, click on new, on your application or device, here we're going to click virtual. So what this does, it'll then show you when to turn off the sections of the sprayer. So your control channel is going to be one. Let's go on next. We're going to go spraying. No idea. Um, pull type sprayer. Um, give it a name. Let's go 15 meter. Mount it. Sprayer. Okay. Hitch type. Obviously, it's mounted, fixed mount. Application width 15 meters. Rows, five sections. I'm just going to put five in there. Physical width 15.2 with the frame around the booms. Physical length about 2.6 obviously if you're setting up for your own implement you'll be able to get the correct measurements so next one application control we then have this is now turned on and we then have a little spanner there where we can set the channels up so control type is virtual is what we said um, material type obviously it's going to be liquid with being a sprayer Material, obviously I haven't created any materials yet, so I just have to leave that as incomplete for now. Again, your application offset, um, if it's centrally mounted, it's going to be a zero left, right. And then the forward back offset, this is the point where the material is being applied. So you'd measure from the end of your three point linkage to your nozzles on your boom. So now if you turn on your section control, again, just tell it how many sections it has. And it automatically populate the widths. Now, if the widths aren't correct, if like the outer sections are narrower than the middle ones, you can click on each individual one and edit it to whatever the actual measurement is. Um, but if you're happy with all that, just move on. With your latencies, again, the fact it's virtual, you know, you, you, there's going to be the delay between you seeing the screen and you actually hitting the switch on the on the sprayer. Like if this was an actual true TUVR, then obviously you'd need to adjust these correctly to get your on and off shut off point correct in relation to your boundary or what you previously sprayed. But in this case, we'll just leave it as they are. Again, we can we can set overlaps. So, whatever overlap you might need, and then the coverage switching overlap. Um, so we'll leave up high, and it'll give us an overview there. So once you're happy with all that, just save that, and then carry on with the implement setup. So input, you can put a lift switch in there if you have one, but most cases don't just with a summary yeah accept that and you're ready to go so the 50 meter mounted sprayer it's got a little dot so just go back that's fine you can now see it's asking for a material so you can add a new material in here Herbicide. 
So once you have your material added, obviously in your list, just select the right one. Just go back. Again, just create your new task there. So spraying. Okay. So when you go into your run screen now, you then have the five sections. So with our inner boundary active, you know, turn on the coverage. When you cross over the boundary, it tells you when to turn on each section for your sprayer. So rather than guessing it by just looking at the sprayer as you're crossing over, you can use this and it gives you a guide via the GPS, which would be more accurate. 